Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Undinos. Today I've got Games of Golf for you. Beast of Maravilla Island. Today I've got Sean. Why is that boat flying? <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to be taking a first impression look at this game. Um, Sean's first impression is there is a boat flying, and indeed there is. Uh, what you got to say, dude? My first impression fl This really made me laugh, right? Because, like, this isn't an overall commentary on the game, but the setup is fantastic. So, she's on a boat, her grandfather died, and she doesn't believe in magic and stuff like that. So, she's just going to this island because he's died and basically said, Oh, you should go there. And she's got this yeah. journal, and she's like, He's crazy. And, like, the second she gets there, she's immediately like, oh, that's some kind of uh, magic stag. Oh, I'll just document everything I see. Like, there's such an incredible <laughs> switch without the character in any way developing between <laughs> yeah. all of this is nonsense and, well, I'm here to document everything. And it's like, you didn't need to go to the effort to have that beginning scepticism and stuff that you're in no way going to pay off because... <laughs> Like, your entire thing is just... Like, that boat ride didn't need to happen. Or could have just been, no one believed my granddad. I'm the only one who did, and I'm going to bring back proof. Like, the whole thing is just a complete yeah. <laughs> whiplash of um, of terrible writing. But that's not a reflection on the game itself. That's just something that really made me laugh right from the start. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, uh, I didn't include it because uh, it is a little bit lengthy, but it it's very very uh, good how they've done it, and uh, yeah, as, as Sean said, it, it's a bit of a whiplash in terms of uh, <laughs> character arc. <laughs> so so yeah, your basically your job is to go through this island and take pictures of new stuff, lots of new stuff. And as you can see down the left there, you got uh, gem bugs, all butterflies, all birds, all plants. And yeah, you basically go through discovering this place. There is a puzzle element to it that yep, does get a that. little bit trickier the further you go on. Um, and unfortunately, uh, I stopped recording just as I got to my most challenging puzzle. Uh, so I do apologise for that. But yeah, they, they it's not challenging. It's just, yeah, you just got to think of all the mechanics they show you and uh, work it out from there. But yeah, it's, it's an enjoyable level, I'd say. Yeah. But uh, yeah, lots of uh, fantastic creatures. So yeah, you come across any of the puzzles yet? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've just, I've basically beaten the area with the first area, which has got the um, the monkey bird guys. So, oh yes, there's a few puzzles yeah, yeah, in that. Yeah. Like you need to attune your whistle to as they sing, um, stuff like yeah. that. But that's, I don't think that's really the point of it. I think the no, the point no. of it is more the awe and the majesty of finding all these new things and recording them and documenting them i like that you can um that you can throw away pictures if you get a better one and substitute them oh yeah yeah one thing um i didn't and while we're here see that there's a 10 just by the camera yes. there yeah yeah which i never saw change so I don't know if they planned to implement a you have so many shots mechanic. Oh, yours has just gone down to nine. So what that is, is you get ten pictures on a certain uh, type of creature or type of plant. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, when you've reached those ten, that's when you can go back in. You can take more, but that's when it will tell you right you've got too many photos of this type you need to go in the journal and delete whatever one you want to delete ah well there's a little mechanic i never figured out <laughs> even though i knew it was kind of in there <laughs> yeah this is another one coming up so uh in order to get to higher positions you need to uh Activate the plants with photosynthesis with your camera. And for some reason, they shoot a laser. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> it's a magical island. It's, it's all explained. It's fine. <laughs> no, yeah, it's all brushed away with it's magic. I don't know if that's an explanation. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> so, yeah, at the minute we're um, Jack and the Beanstalk, um, we're, we're climbing up the Beanstalk. And here we go, the monkey dudes. Hey, the monkey birds. These guys are great. I love these guys. Um, quite funny and how they act and stuff. But yeah, the, the visuals. Love the visuals. This uh, the, the way they've done it in the art style. I'm, I'm really liking it. And this, um, I don't know about you, but it, I found it really calming, really relaxing, just going through this world. Oh, very much so. Um, just just on the visuals, they've they've clearly done a lot on quite a low budget. So, like a lot of things, um, a lot of things repeat, but all of the photographable creatures and plant life and things all do look distinct from each other, and that's ideally what you want because you don't want to, uh, to use an analogy, you you want to. You want to see the forest for the trees. You don't want to be focusing on there being a huge forest around you. You don't want to be focusing on rocks and dirt like that. It, it wants to draw your focus to the things that you need to be um, concentrating on recording and um, and documenting. And I think it does a good job with that. keeps everything else in quite a dull um, palette, which makes the things that you're supposed to be paying attention to pop and... Um, and stand out. Hello. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they've definitely got that balance correct, I feel. Also, this is a little shame. It's like the 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 idea of um, you know, this releasing around the time of the new Pokemon Snap and all stuff like that was um I'm sure intentional because you want to get as many eyes as you wanted for us. And then they've got a little thing that looks a bit like Pikachu in there. It's like, ah, <laughs> I'm, I'm down with that kind of shamelessness. You go with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But yeah, I'm, I'm, overall, I'm really happy with how this, uh, how they've done this. Uh, as, as you say, um, they've made best with what they had and uh and yeah the, the everything down to the music the art style and even that obviously there's this overall story in the background of you know you're following your um granddad's journal uh, through this place and discovering all the new creatures it's subtle but it's there uh, all the way through and uh yeah it, it is gr it's great. It's, it does uh, lead you on to the next area and the next area and wanting to find more. I will point out that um, the video so far has made it look l has made it look a lot more common that it stops you to have her talk than actually is. Um, it, it is yeah. freer than the video is making it look. He's, uh, Adam's just trying to show off the mechanics and the um, you know the things that are pushing you forward, but you do by and large have free movement and the, the times when it stops you to add a a bit of um, context or a layer of character of her talking is quite few and far between. Obviously we're still in the stages of it teaching you how to play the game as well so um, don't don't think that every five to ten seconds it's stopping you with a speech bubble and taking control away from you. That's not how it plays. No, no, exactly. Um, yeah, that's exactly what I did. I, I just wanted to show off everything that possible. Uh, but yeah, as Sean said, lots of free range movement, lots of uh, areas in between. Yeah, it's still quite linear, but not in like a yeah. in a way that is guiding you towards what you are there to see. And if you're into the the idea, what what it's. Um, what it's trying to constantly put across is you're here to take pictures of the things and it's guiding you towards those things. If you're not enjoying that, you're not going to enjoy the game. But the, it's yeah. structured in such a way that it's always kind of guiding you towards that, um, which is what yeah. you should, which is what they should be doing because that's why you're here. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, 
Although I found, I did find the instructions uh, and the the speech bubbles and stuff. I, I didn't find them lengthy at all. Uh, no, 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 the, no, no. They no. were quite quick. Quite quick to the point. Like you get the gist of a bit of a story and what you got to do, and and that's it. Like you're away again. So yeah, and um, I felt like I don't know about you, but on this bit where there's lots of branches coming out and yeah. like, lots of different ways to go. I found everything I needed to find, but there were so many other branches I didn't take that I felt like I didn't actually see it all. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm looking through the journal, and clearly I did, because it's all ticked off. So, yeah, the, there's obviously uh, multiple opportunities to take pictures of certain things. Uh, yeah. So, so this is this is the other mechanic um, Sean alluded to earlier where you've got a whistle and uh, copy what they're whistling is the little game here and I got the first bit and I thought oh is that it and I thought oh no let, let, let's uh, let's push this a bit more see what happens I'll, I'll, I'll copy them and uh, you, you shall see it's not too difficult I did the same. I found this sort of thing yeah. really charming because it's again, it's it gives you the thing. It tells you what you're doing. You do it, but if you keep doing it, it doesn't tell you to keep doing it. If you keep doing it, you're you're rewarded with a little um, a little something extra, and that's really cool. Yeah, I like I like when games do that, and uh, just a little shows a little attention to detail. Yeah, it's, it's good. And there you go. You get an orchestra. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, if you were actually here for the first time, you don't know what those things feed on, and you're kind of calling more of them, and they're all <laughs> kind of very. De- there's one um, when you get round by the nests, and there's so many of them. It's like, ah, uh, are these just gonna eat me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So, I don't know if you do it. There's something you've um, you've not shown yet. So the the canopy is done in a really fun way. That um, if you don't look up, and I tend to look all around when I'm doing things, so I want to see how a game works and where it breaks and stuff like that. Mostly. So when you're at the top yeah. of the trees, there's like this canopy, and it's this great big flat um, dark green um, uh, texture, which is which filters the light. Yeah. So if right, you look up yeah. and you're walking around, it kind of spins insanely above you because it's trying to make light bounce off things in different <laughs> ways and it's trying to shade you in different ways, which is really, really funny to look at. Yeah, if you go back to that section or you, you start the game again or you go into another high tree bit, yeah, look, look up as much as you can and start walking around and you'll see the um, the sky, uh, you know, the, the texture above you going mental. It's really fun, <laughs> really funny. But it's about a creative. It. It's about a creative solution to a problem, and that's that's what they've done. They've um, they had a problem in that they needed light to be shifted in a different way up there, and they they found a uh, they found a solution. <laughs> I'll have to do that. Um, I did look up, but not to that extent. <laughs> so yeah, this is teaching you how to bounce light off of plants and stuff. Using the snails that reflect the light, and uh, these guys are doing a a dance, a relationship dance, I believe. <laughs> uh, he's he's basically getting his thing on, and uh, he's now going to thank you for letting him get his thing on. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> Here, go. <laughs> I'm I'm busy. <laughs> yeah, I don't want you to see this. Get out of my forest. but there's lots of little nooks and crannies and lots of little charms to this and and yeah it's just a really relaxing good time to do and it doesn't um, it's not constantly telling you to uh, photo things there's always something new there's always something new and it does tell you in the journal how many of each things are in each area but yeah. it's not seen there. Like, it, for the most part, it won't tell you to do anything with flowers. It won't tell you to do anything with bugs. It won't tell you, tell you to do anything with butterflies, birds even. It's focusing you on the the monkey bird guys. 
but actually everything else counts to your catalogue and your um, big uh, journal as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and that's that's just for you if you want to if you want to go for full completion. I found it it added depth to the world and to the experience. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, um, just the multitude of things that you can photograph, and then when you go into the next area, there's a whole brand new set of things yeah. to to photograph and stuff. And it, it, just in case we haven't showed it, it, it actually when you when you focus the camera on something you've not recorded for, it just says new, and then when you when you take the shot, it tells you what it is, and then it appears in the journal, which you can look at at your leisure. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, about that time. So uh, overall thoughts, sir. Yeah, I thought it was really charming and really relaxing, and I think they're guiding you towards a sacrifice pit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I found it really relaxing and really charming. Again, it's it's um, it's on a limited budget, and I think they've made quite a lot of. Um, I think they've made quite a lot with the assets and the budget they have. Um, everything everything you're supposed to be paying attention to is pointed out to you and is distinct and that's that's a good thing they've done well yeah i, I echo everything uh, sean just said there really good game definitely worth a download really nice relaxing good time uh, but if you're interested in this it is available to download now uh, but as for us that's it so uh we shall see you next time see ya farewell goodbye <laughs>